name is uh, Dr. Harish Vaja. I am a senior cardiothoracic and vascular surgeon at Evercare Hospital, Lekki. Uh, I, I wish to uh, describe uh, uh, this complicated case which has been referred to us. So to summarize in brief, uh, he is a 47-year-old gentleman who came uh, from different states, uh, initially referred to our cardiology team with uh, either a suspected uh, acute heart attack. ilk onje bu hastaneye geldiğinde yani ilk başta üzere ne bu hastaneye neden geldin diyor. Yani bir geldiğinde de kiminle karşılaştın yani doktor olarak? Yani bir sorun neymiş yani? Hı. Hı. Ben ilk geldiğimde daha doğrusu kendimle değildim zaten fazla çünkü çok acil olarak götürdüler beni. Hı. Bir hatırladığım yüz Mustafa. Doktor Mustafa. Hı. Ameliyat öncesi hazırlattılar beni. Hı hı. Onu hatırlıyorum Mustafa hatırlıyorum Doktor Mustafa Mr. Mustafa. O bu hastanenin sebebi. Ameliyat öncesi hazırlıkta hı. Mustafa vardı. Hı. Birkaç tane ismini hatırlayamadım. Gene doktorlarımız geldi. De Doktor Arş kendini tanıttı. Hı hı. Ameliyatını ben yapacağım diye. Hı. Hani çok kendimde değildim zaten 2-3 gün. Hı. Çok acil bir durum olduğu için. Hı. Direkt zaten beklettiler beni. Hı. O yüzden He said, first of all, when he, they brought him to the hospital, he was unconscious already. He cannot remember anything. But the first person that attended him was Dr. Mustafa, and then he was the one that dressed him for the preparation of the operation. And then later on, Mr. Dr. Harish Varash came to him and then told him that I'm the doctor that will operate you because was, it was a cardiac arrest. So he wasn't himself. He cannot tell anything that happened on that day. So it was after like one, two days that they told him that he's going to uh, undergo a surgery. The patient was uh, transferred to us uh, uh, via air on 4th of uh, July. Uh, and uh, on admission, uh, we did uh, emergency uh, contrast CT scan. This confirmed uh, type A aortic dissection, which uh, started from the root of the big vessel, which comes from the heart, uh, which is called aorta. And then it uh, essentially involves uh, dissection uh, and uh, creation of flap uh, within the lumen, uh, within the wall of the uh, vessel, and thereby creates what we call a true lumen as well as a false lumen. And uh, this is what we call a, a dissection. And uh, as a result of this dissection, which continues uh, from where it starts at the root of the aorta and it goes all the way down uh, uh, to the uh, abdominal aorta. And uh, uh, so that, that's the type of dissection this patient had. Uh, clearly, this is a, a surgical emergency and uh, there is no medical treatment available. If you do not uh, operate this patient, uh, they would uh, uh, not able to survive. Yani bu yani hastalığın neymiş diyor, hastalığın neymiş, bir de bu operasyon yani ameliyat nasıl oldu, bir de kaç gündür bu hastanede kaldın hmm. diye soruyor. Şimdi bu e, aniden ortaya çıkan bir hastalık. Yani zaten önce belirtileri olan bir şey değildi. Yani fabrikamızda çalışırken aniden olan bir şey. Yani aort damarım patlamış, aort damarım yırtılmış. O çok acil bir şekilde zaten yani öngörülebilen bir şey değildi. Ee, buraya de, nasıl mı geldim? Evet, kaç gündür kaldın bu hastanede? Ha, buraya, buraya beni e, ayın dördünde getirdiler. Yani yaklaşık 24 gündür buradayım. Ameliyat da dahil. Hı hı. Ameliyat da dahil 24 gündür buradayım. Hı hı. So first of all, it wasn't a, a diagnosed disease that he can't say anything because it happens time to time at the factory when he is working. So that day something just happened and he felt something deep inside his chest. So that's how the whole sickness started. And then he stayed in this hospital for about 24 to 25 days to date. Uh, fortunately, uh, we have done uh, similar cases in our institute in the past uh, with uh, excellent results. So we, we were very confident about it. 
the additional problem with this family is that the, the, the gentleman is uh, Turkish and there was also a little bit of a language barrier. Uh, we had interpreter with us, uh, uh, given the nature of the surgery and the high risk, uh, they understood the risk. Despite the language barrier, they were uh, put confidence in our institute and our ability and uh, allowed us to uh, uh, proceed with the surgery plan. We did uh, urgent uh, surgery, which is called a repair of type A aortic dissection. Uh, this involves uh, replacing the what we call ascending aorta, there is also replacement of part of the arch, uh, uh, that's called a hemi-arch replacement. And uh, in this particular case, uh, unfortunately, there was a, a major vessel which comes from the arch and supplies uh, a brain, which is called the innominate artery, that was also a dissection of innominate artery. So we had to re-implant that innominate artery to the synthetic graft. So essentially, the operation technically was replacement of ascending aorta, hemi-arch replacement and re-implantation re of uh, first big branch which is the nominate artery into the aortic uh, arch. The, I cannot stress the nat complex nature of the surgery because this surgery involves we stop the circulation and to whilst we stop the circulation we have to protect essentially all the vital organs including brain. So uh, there is a quite complex strategy involved protecting uh, brain, protecting uh, kidney and, uh, and the heart. Uh, we had a very able team with us, uh, our uh, perfusionist who is very experienced, Rani, we have a theatre team staff. Uh, surgery uh, lasted for uh, six hours uh, and a patient, uh, uh, it was an uneventful surgery. Uh, patient uh, shifted to uh, cardiac intensive care unit and he was extubated next day morning. Dejan Bishabar, my Messala Bohastane, Ashan de Clarine, Denim Lerine Bishabar, sir. Shook the shaker, you. Epsom, shook the shaker. He said, on behalf of his wife and him, and then the rest of the staff, he's saying a very big thank you to every staff in this hospital. I really appreciate everything. And also like to be grateful to the family, uh, uh, the patient himself and his uh, wife who actually joined uh, post-operatively. She returned, uh, she came back from uh, Turkey and has been uh, uh, with the patient all the time. So I've been grateful to the family who has been very patient and uh, despite the language barriers, uh, they have been uh, very patiently following our instructions, our reassurances and uh, at the end of the uh, good road, we, we were able to achieve a good outcome. I wish the patient and his family very well and a safe flight journey back home.